Here, Your Majesty, we have an infant phenomenon. A remarkable child of ten. He's quite a historian, editor of our school magazine. Ah, very interesting. This, Your Majesty, is Rupert, our young editor. How do you do, Rupert? How do you do? Sit down. And what's that you're reading? Karl Marx. Surely you're not a communist. Do I have to be a communist to read Karl Marx? Rupert! That's a valid answer. Well, if you're not a communist, what are you? Nothing. Nothing? I dislike all forms of government. But somebody must rule. And I don't like the word rule. Well, if we don't like the word rule, let's call it leadership. Leadership in government is political power, and political power is an official form of antagonizing the people. What magazine did you say he edits? A commentary on current events. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me, Ambassador. But, uh, my dear young man, politics are necessary. Politics are rules imposed upon the people. In this country, rules are not imposed. They are the wish of all free citizens. Travel around a bit, then you'll see how free they are. Yes, but you didn't let me finish. They have every man in a straitjacket. And without a passport, he can't move a toe. But if you'll allow me to... In a free world, they violate the natural rights of every citizen. But you don't let me fully... They have become the weapons of political despots. Yes, but may I... And if you don't think as they think, you're deprived of your passport. Will you allow me to... To leave a country is like breaking out of jail. Yes, And to enter a country is like going through the eye of a needle. But Am I free to travel? Of course you're free to travel. Only with a passport. Will you allow me to say something? Only with a passport. Do animals need passports? <laughs> Have you finished? It's in Congress that in this atomic age of speed, we are shut in and shut out by passports. If you'll shut up and let somebody else talk... And free speech, does that exist? No, you've got it all. And free enterprise. We were talking of passports. Today, it's all monopoly. All right. Now, will you... Can I go me? into the automobile business and compete with the auto trust? If I can get in a word... Not a chance. Can I go into the grocery business and compete with the chain stores? Will you shut up? Not a chance. Monopoly is the menace of free enterprise. As I look back 60 years ago... Where were you 60 years ago? He was a glimpse in his great-grandfather's eye. Very well, now. Have you finished? Now, let me say something. Let me tell you how wrong you are in the first place. <laughs> in the first place... Now I've forgotten what I wanted to say. And the atomic bomb. Ah. It's a crime that when the world cries for atomic energy... Bravo. You want to make atomic bombs. Me? <laughs> I'm against atomic bombs. You want to wipe out civilization. <laughs> destroy all life on this planet. You don't think you're living in the night. <laughs> I, lost, I lost my throne because I didn't want atomic bombs. You and your kind think that atomic bombs can solve your problem. Listen, you little rat. Today, man has too much power. The Roman Empire collapsed with the assassination of Caesar. And why? If you... Because of too much power. Feudalism blew up with the French Revolution. And why? Right. Because of too much power. And today, the whole world will blow up. And why? Because, because of, of too much, much power. The monopoly of power is a menace to freedom. It degrades and victimizes every individual. And where is the individual? I don't know. Lost in terror because he's made to hate instead of love. If civilization is to survive, we must combat power until the dignity and peace of man are restored. What is the meaning of this? My hat. 